Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I'm doing extremely well because I just woke up before and I got my Arabic coffee ready and my Arabic sweets and I have this beautiful incense going on here. Um, I have a theme because today's video is going to be about Arabian fragrances, Arabic perfumes. I am going to be visiting one of the Arabic stores and I will be trying a lot of new fragrances and I'm going to bring you along with me. So it's going to be like a vlog video. I have done one of these videos before but that was years and years ago so I thought um, I would do another one and also because I have been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do another video, to do an updated um, Arabic perfume video. So I will be doing that very shortly after I have some of these delicious uh, sweets. I know it's a bad thing to have them in the morning for breakfast, but believe me, I'm not going to eat all of them. I will be tagging um, my husband along with me. Actually, he does want to come. He actually does want to come and because he wants to buy a new fragrance for himself. So I'm excited for that. So it's going to be a nice little uh, adventure for both of us and you guys. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Finally made it to Coburg, which you will find that it's a street where there's a lot of shops. A lot of great food, uh, Middle Eastern food, Greek food, Italian food, beautiful Greek and Italian cakes. And a few perfume shops. <laughs> Okay, so the store that we are going to is not very far from here. It's just where here. There it is. If you guys can see this one over here. Darul Salam Islamic Bookstore. This is the store. So we are now walking towards the shop. This is Coburg. I used to actually live here. I grew up in this area, so. So you can see here we've got Chemist Warehouse. This is a very popular pharmacy that um, has a lot of cheap perfumes. So I do buy some of my fragrances from there. a cute man over there just waving to us so we are here this is the store and it's called Darul Salam <laughs> so we are inside the store now it's huge guys So it's a bookstore and they sell like gifts and things like that along with um, lots of fragrances. So they've got a huge range of stuff. From what I could see here, I could see a lot of um, like air fresheners and things like that for the home. lots and lots of fragrances mm -hmm. 
So I am excited to try some of these fragrances. I have seen a few that have caught my attention. And on this side we've got a lot of um, bakhur, which is like wood chips and you burn them in your home and they make your home smell really good. Okay, so when you first come into the store, you will see this gorgeous display of oils, Arabian oils, and they do sell these by mill, so you can get these three sizes. And there's a huge range to try from. So check these out, guys. I have never seen these before, so I'm not... I'm very curious. So they look like this and I think I'm not sure yeah it's a room freshener so they're pretty big um, and they smell really really good I think yeah the brand is Al Rehab so I've never seen these before let's see the price okay so they cost $20 a bottle and they've got the old one in there room freshener And at the bottom here, you could see that there's pocket-sized fragrances. Now, I've purchased some of these before. They're really handy and good to have in your purse. Um, and they're also by Al Rihad. Musk Rose. Red Rose, I've tried. This one smells exactly like um, Kenzo, the original one. I'm just going to check for prices. It does not have the price. And this is Sultan. This is a popular one as well. Um, I can't see the prices. So these are very interesting. What they are is... Wait, you take it off like this. And you put some uh, wood chips in here to burn off and you light it up like this and then it just lights up and it's like a mini thing that you carry or you keep in your car or something like that so these are really interesting and they've got a whole range in this section of these ones and they do work i've got one of these from fragrance dubois they used to have them and i do uh, like using it in my car Okay, I just spotted one of my favorite fragrances, Ragba by Latafa. This is the air freshener, and this one is just a perfume spray, like a body spray, I'm assuming. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna spray this. Oh, I love, 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 love this fragrance, especially on my husband. It's like he's nearly out of it, so I hope we find it today so we can buy it for him. Um, it smells identical to the fragrance like because you know how sometimes you get some body sprays and lotions that don't smell like the scent and they're cheap this isn't like that this is really good and they've got them in the wood intense and some other ones as well all by Latafa so here's another thing I spotted um, they've got a range of these oils here by Al Rehab these are um, these are cheap I think well, from other places that I've bought them from anyway, so I can't see any, I can't see any prices here, whoops. So I'm not sure how much they cost, but as I said, I think they are fairly cheap. They're oils of the fragrances, um, and they, they are quite long-lasting. This is Choco Musk. This would probably be my favorite um, oil, and it smells like chocolate. Delicious, delicious chocolate, and they have a few here, actually. I only have it in the mini, uh, mini uh, purse spray. I don't have the oil anymore because I gave them as gifts. But I do know that these ones, some of them are really, really good and long lasting. So I found this. This is by Swiss Arabian and it's called Jannat al-Firdaus. And this is a very, very, very popular scent in the Middle East. Um, it's a green soapy foresty type of a scent and I love this I've got it but in a different brand 
um, but this this is a really good it, they actually all smell similar it's just a different brands and different companies and different um, price range but this is a really 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 good one if you want something a little bit different um, I actually got a question recently by someone asking if I'd tried anything from Swiss Arabian and so today I have uh, this is a very, very popular one as well. This is Noura uh, by, by Al Haramain. This one I used to have as a Eau de Parfum. And it's really, really strong. Very, very heavy stuff. This is a massive uh, ambery floral. Um, a good one, a really popular one. So I've just spotted another one. This is Sultan and it's an oil but I do really really like this one. It's very 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 sweet. Like syrupy sweet, a fruity floral type of a scent. Very long lasting as well. Um, what else do we have here? So here's another very, very nice oil. It's called Sheikha, and this is a very popular one as well by El Rehab. Um, the bottle is really pretty as well. So it's an oil, as I said, and it's not too sweet. It's a very unique one. Um, it's quite balmy and a little bit citrusy in the beginning. Um, so it's not that typical sweet, sweet lolly kind of a scent it's actually a very grown-up mature one now here's another cute one that I spotted look at this cute bottle guys oh my gosh I actually tried this on my skin and it smells amazing it's an oil and it's called uh, and it's by Rasasi it's such a pretty pretty rose musk and wood type of a fragrance absolutely beautiful and I'm actually thinking of getting this one because it's so 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 beautiful so I just want to show you this packaging because look at it look at this this is the uh, box it's called Miqat and I'm not sure who it's made by yet because I haven't checked but it's an oil Look at that, it sits in there. Look how gorgeous that is, guys. And you just close it up like that. Wow. I love the colors. That's probably why I'm attracted to this bottle. I'm just gonna quickly try the scent. So the scent is quite light. It's not a very heavy one. Uh, it's kind of a musky, woody scent. Not my favorite, but the bottle is gorgeous. Look at this one. How adorable is this bottle? This is the box. It's called... Uh, what is it called? Taj La Rosa. And what it means is it's the crown of the bride. So... I'm assuming it's a very sweet fragrance for the bride. So that's how it looks when it's opened. Yeah, I was right. It's so, so sweet. It's a fruity scent. It's a very, very fruity, sweet scent. So it's quite modern. And um, if you love your extra sweet fruit scents, check this one out because it's a really really good one I can tell that it's going to be very long lasting it's a strong strong perfume um, I'm just gonna show you another bottle look at that I'm not sure what this one's called let me check it's called Mason Mason Oh, this is a really nice one. It's a little bit soapy and musky. You'll find a lot of musks um, in these oils in particular. They're either fruity or rosy or woody musky scents. So I've just seen this one and it's called Musk Al Sheikh and I'm assuming it's a men's fragrance. I'm not sure. 
uh, I did try it on it's a beautiful subtle white musky oil very very nice with a hint of rose and this one is called musk alarusa which is for the bride so it's a musk for the bride and from the color I think it's kind of the same it's a white musk I'm assuming but guys look at these bottles up here what other bottles do they remind you of I don't know I'm getting um, Bodicia the victorious vibes from these ones in particular look at this one this is so so pretty it's called Tuesday I've got Monday at home actually I do I actually own a bottle called Monday and it's I think it's by Al-Haramain as well look at this cute bottle this is by Al-Rihab it's called Alf Zahra 1000 flowers so they have a few by um, Al-Haramain here okay this section they have a lot of these little oils uh, by Al Rehab so some of them are really really good others not so much um, let's see if they've got yes they do have the little choco musk here a little one a little mini one um, yeah I just I wish they had the prices though I don't know how much these costs uh, but they do have a lot of these oils here and I don't think they're expensive at all silver is a very popular one actually let's try that one so I've just tried it and it's a very fresh musky scent very very fresh and good to wear in the summer it's actually really nice light easy to wear I'm assuming the spray version would uh, be the same kind of scent let's try it because I did see it so that's the bottle and these are quite cheap to buy actually yeah it's a very very citrusy fresh scent perfect for summer if you don't want to waste a lot of money on just something to spray and just go and respray all the time it's this one silver so guys, if you want something absolutely delicious, like I'm talking about caramel, thick, vanilla type of a fragrance, you have to get this one. It's an oil and it, the bottle looks like this. I've actually got three of these at home. They're $15 Australian um, and it just smells like caramel. Caramel, vanilla, uh, a little bit of chocolate absolutely delicious for all your uh, for all the gourmand lovers this one is a must it's called Dahab by Al Haramain really do recommend this one if you uh, love your gourmands now I've just found this one I love this bottle it's so so pretty it's little it's not a big bottle but how gorgeous is that guys now it's called Morgana and it's a typical Arabian style old rose musk type of a scent but it's not sweet so if you're looking for something that's not sweet this is the one to go to for. So I just spotted this one and look at this bottle. Oh my goodness it's like a dagger. I don't know what it's called let me check. And I don't know who it's by. But I put it on the screen, but I just thought it looks awesome. I'll show you the box. So that's the box. I just discovered what it was called. It's called Atar Al Khanjar, which means the uh, Atar of the dagger. So, uh, yeah, I've never heard of this brand before. It's what is it? Can you read what that is? Banafa for Oud. Banafa Faroud. So I'm not sure who they are. I've never heard of them before, but the bottles are really interesting. Okay, so I just found this one as well. It, this is the women's one, I'm assuming, and the other one was the men's one. But this is cool. I like this one. 
So my husband's just going to try it, see what it smells like. So we're kind of having a hard time trying to smell it because I think we've been smelling a lot of fragrances, but from what we both got from it is it's very sweet and it's kind of like a ragba. If you know ragba, it's kind of on that, that style. So the women's one is actually a spray bottle, which is so cool, but you know what? It's empty, so I can't... Oh, oh, I got a spray out of it. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, it's very sweet and it's kind of like a musky floral. I really, really like this one. It's not too strong, not too heavy. It's actually, the quality of this is really, really good. It doesn't smell cheap whatsoever. I don't even know how much these are. Um, I'm not sure, but I will find out. Don't you worry. Uh, but yeah, the bottle is cool. The scent is really, really nice. Very subtle, sweet, musky floral. I really do like this one. So I can see a few of the fragrances that I have tried before over here and I really really loved this one. This is a really really good fragrance. Um, this one I've tried before it's actually got like wood wood chips in it. It's like a woody old fragrance. So look what I've spotted guys. It's that same fragrance but it's got it in the Bakhur. So how awesome is that? So it's to actually scent your home and you know those little things that I was talking about before you put some of this in there and you burn it off but it's in the same fragrance as um, that that one that we've seen before so that's cool so this is another cabinet and I could see really nice looking bottles here and one has caught my attention and it is this one Diamond by El Rehab. I'm just going to try it and see what it's all about. So the scent is a sweet, fruity, floral. It's absolutely beautiful. It's slightly musky as well. Very feminine. Really, really pretty scent. I actually really do like this one. Now this bottle has caught my attention as well. It looks really nice. I think it's a men's fragrance. I'm going to try it. So here's the bottle, it looks really really nice, it's pretty heavy, it is a men's fragrance and it's called Qa'ed. So I'm going to try it, I did sniff it from the bottle and it smells so so good. So I'm going to spray some on the card and tell you what it smells like. Guys this scent is so good, so so good. It's sweet, but it's not ultra sweet. It's a little bit musky, woody, and a little bit like chocolatey. I love, 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 love this one. A very, very good scent um, and beautiful bottle. So I do recommend this one just from spraying it from, you know, on the card. But it's really, really nice. I've spotted another beautiful bottle here. Look at this one. It's called Velvet Toad. And the bottle is so gorgeous it's also by La Tafa and this is just a pretty much a uh, masculine musky old a musky woody scent very nice very light but really nice stuff it's not sweet whatsoever and it's quite um, unisex now I've spotted another one this bottle looks quite masculine and it's heavy but it's actually not a masculine fragrance and it's called Rudi and it actually doesn't really smell like Oud, to be honest. It's by uh, Ardal Zafaran. It's a sweet musky floral. It's really, really pretty and uh, more on the feminine side. So the bottle does not really match the scent, but it's a really, really lovely sweet musky floral. 
Now I've spotted another popular one. This is um, Afshan and I do see it get mentioned a lot. It's very cheap to buy and I have sprayed it on the card. Oh my gosh, it's actually really good. When I first sprayed it, it smelled very synthetic, but right now, smelling it again on the card, it's really, really nice. It's a cheaper type of a perfume, so it's kind of aldehydic floral, and it's very vintage in style, and it's a little bit creamy. It's a really good one, and I did spray this one on as well. This is the um, Sophia by Al Haramain. This is a very unique one. Um, it's a very vegetal musky floral so to me I'm smelling a lot of vegetables here musk and flowers but it's really unique and it's really really nice actually if you're into something a little bit different this is a really good one but yeah this one is really nice as well it's got like a hairspray vibe when you first spray it on but the dry down I think becomes much more creamier so I just tried this one this is a, a very popular line by Ajman and they've got a lot in this line actually I have tried a lot of them they do smell a little bit synthetic to my nose this one is nice it's called Accord Boisse and it's actually a really nice one it's kind of a musky sweet fruity woody scent and I do really like it as I said the other ones that I've tried I haven't really liked but this one is okay so look at this one guys this is called midnight old and I'm not sure who it's by yet but I just wanted to show you the packaging well it's 60 Australian dollars um, the packaging and that's the box here can you see the box what does that one remind you of let me know in the comments um, it's a very similar box all well, the colors are anyway so I'm assuming that it's kind of going to be a copy of this fragrance I'm just going to try it and let you guys know okay the scent is very strong it's a smoky incense dark berry type of a scent and yeah as I said they were kind of trying to copy that other fragrance that I am talking about um, but obviously it's not a hundred percent but it's in that style in that way so that's pretty interesting and look what we have here, Ragba, one of my favorites. Um, so they do have uh, quite a few bottles. They've got some other ones over here. They've got the Wood Intense, the, um, I'm not sure if, no, this is another company, Astaf, and it's called Bawadi, Bawadi or something. Um, yeah, so these were the only Latafas here. This bottle looks nice. Look at this one. Splendor Black. Um, I think these are men's fragrances, but I will try them. Now, I've just grabbed this one because the bottle is so, so nice. It's very, very, very heavy. Oh my God, you're gonna love this one. I'm just talking to my husband because the scent, I'm just smelling it from the cup like that. I'm, I'm gonna spray it on paper and come back. Okay guys, so this scent so far is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I've never heard of this house before. I don't know who they are, but this scent, I smelled, I sprayed it on my husband's arm and he automatically said, oh my gosh, it smells like a jam donut. It's absolutely delicious. It smells jammy, um, musky, and it's a sweet scent and very, very spicy. So this is a really good one. I'm just gonna check if they've got the price. Nope. They don't have the price. Very, very, very beautiful scent. I am going to try this one now. So this one did turn out to be by La Tuffa. It's called Splendor Black and it's a very fresh, um, spicy scent. So yeah, it's one of those, it smells like a fougere to me. Um, so it's a very refreshing, but uh, light spice kind of a scent. Um, and now I'm going to try this one over here okay so this one over here this is the Ragba wood intense and it's a flanker of the original Ragba it smells like Ragba but it's more intense and more decadent and more woody so you've got more wood in here and this one does have the price it's $45 
for the big bottle. So that's a pretty good price. Um, I really do like this one. If you think Ragba is too sweet and you want something a little bit more woody, I would definitely go for that one. Now this is another one by La Tafa and it's called Al Fursan. And that's the box there. And I just tried this one on and it's, it's very unique. It's a, a very medicinal, semi-sweet, not too sweet, woody scent. So it's very classy and smells very sophisticated. It's also on the lighter side of things. So if you want something subtle, but very classy and very sexy smelling, this is a really nice masculine scent. This one is also by La Tafa. It's called Mukhallat uh, Al Subi. Aslobi, sorry, Mukhallat Aslobi, and I just tried it on, and it's a lovely musky scent. It's semi-sweet, and it smells like lollies, so it's kind of on the feminine side, but I really do like it. Really, really like this one. Now, here's one that is a popular one. I can tell just by looking at the bottle. It's by Al Haramain, and I will try it. It's this one over here, La Venture, so I know you guys know what this is. My husband actually tried it and he loved it. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to tell you what I, I smell. So, <laughs> I kind of said it wrong because my husband just corrected me because he speaks French, mind you, and I always don't say them correctly. Um, how do you say it? L'Aventure. 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 <laughs> So this one's L'Aventure by Al Haramain and we're going to spray it on now and see what it smells like. So guys, this is a really, really nice one. It kind of reminds me of Aventus by Creed. It's got that um, same opening, you know, the citrus, fresh, musky kind of a scent. Very um, bright and just casual fragrance. It doesn't, I can't really smell any uh, pineapple though because Aventus does have pineapple. This one I can't really detect it but I do detect other fruits and all in all it's a beautiful fresh citrus fragrance and I do see why people rave about this so much. It's actually a really really good one. A woody light woody scent as well. Very nice. Now oops, I've seen this one around a few places uh, and I've wondered about it. It's called Precious Oud uh, by Oud Al Mamlika. I think I haven't, no, it's actually by Latafa. Here we go. Um, so I really do want to try this one now. So that one is absolutely beautiful. Very sweet, white, musky, floral on the feminine side. Delicate, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I really do like this one. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Now look at this bottle, guys. This is a very unique, unique bottle. It's very, very, very heavy. And it just looks very masculine. So I am going to try it. It's called Tohfat um, al-Muluk. And it says Crystal Wood here. I don't know if that's the company. No, the company's La Tafa. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this, I was wrong. All this line here is by La Tafa. <laughs> Whoops. Um, it's kind of hard to, to read. Oh, we've got the price here. It's $45. Um, so I am going to try it. So the scent is a spicy, fresh, woody type of a scent. Very masculine. Um, it's one that I've kind of smelt before and it's not really my style of perfume that I prefer on my husband. So I don't really like the scent of this one. So these three here are ones that are very very popular and um, they're called Sheikh Al Shayukh and but this, they're like flankers they're all by Latafa this is a like a luxe edition this is um, I'm not sure why these two are a little bit different um, I'm not sure but I am going to try three of them and let you guys know what they smell like okay so I just tried three of them um, this is just a very like a spicy masculine uh, woody scent like a, it kind of reminds me of Fougere perfumes this one is a little bit more sweeter um, nice but this is my favorite one it's completely different to these two and it smells feminine 
and it smells very musky, woody, woody and just absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love this one and I love the bottle as well. Look at that. Such an elegant, beautiful bottle. This one's definitely my favorite. It smells much more expensive than these two. Very, very nice one, this one. Okay, we have a very popular one here. It's the Amir Al Oud by Latafa. This one, again, it's kind of got that uh, Ragba kind of style, but much more musky and woody, um, and not so much like delicious smelling, if you know what I mean. Not so much vanilla. This is a really, really good one. Um, I have tried this one before, and it's really, really good. This is a nice bottle, very sleek, nice bottle. It's called Oud. Uh, Oud Al Atar, this one. Um, I'm gonna try it because I'm curious now. Actually, this one is not by Latafa. I just read the box and it's called, uh, the company is called Al Atar. So I have not heard of this company before. This is a very light, musky scent, very nice, um, easy to wear kind of a fragrance. So. It's a nice warm musky scent a little bit sweet as well, but very light So I'm coming back to it now because I did some spray it on my skin and it's actually warming up and it's becoming more woody It's a very elegant scent this one. I actually do really like the dry down and Look what we've spotted up here a Montal. This is dark old um, yeah, that's interesting. It's the only Montal in the store. So very, very popular. The um, Ajman by Ajman. This is the Patchouli Oud Rosewood and Rosewood. They had other ones the last time I was here, but I'm not sure where they've gone. Uh, these are very, very popular and on the more expensive niche side. Okay, so I've just found these two and I think this is a favorite so far it's called Nakhat Al Oud and this is called Amwaj Al Oud and I'm not sure who it's oh here we go Prestige the company is called Prestige and this is absolutely gorgeous so this one is your spice amber incense and oud it's an amber fragrance that is absolutely glorious I really do like this one my husband also loved it as well okay guys i just discovered that these two are made by latafa once again oh my gosh it's so confusing because what's this then i don't understand but anyway they are by latafa this is okay it's um waves of old it's called it's it's a balmy sweet fruity type of a scent it's got like a banana-ish kind of a note in there it's okay this one is gorgeous 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 Look how pretty this bottle is. It's so, so beautiful. And it's very heavy. Now, I did spot this one, Hawass. Uh, Hawass, for him. This is a very, very, very popular one for the guys. Um, it's a freshy. I'll just quickly try it again. It's by Rasasi. And yeah, it's just your basic, very masculine smelling fresh fragrance that every guy seems to love it's, it's a good one um, this one is called Jazab and I am really wanting to try it because it looks really really nice okay so I couldn't really detect much from this scent I think it's got a lot of musk in there and very subtle spice so and citrus so I'm not really sure about this one actually now this one is another popular one it's called Darij Darij no it's called Darij not Darij so, um, when I read it in English it's very different to when you read it in Arabic so here we've got Darij and then if you read it in Arabic it's Darij so it's very different uh, this is a men's fragrance with purple liquid I really like it let's try it it's just a very nice, sweet, musky type of a scent. It's the company is called Rasasi. It's okay. Um, not my favorite, but it's okay. Uh, now, here's a bottle that I like. I actually like this bottle. It's very thin, very big. Um, just 
judging from the name and the bottle I think it's a fresh kind of a scent these bottles are really nice and classy as well the dirham you've got dirham old dirham gold and dirham I think no just dirham so I'm assuming these are the flankers okay so we quickly tried these on and they are gorgeous this one is very feminine uh, very sweet musky floral fruity floral very gorgeous stuff this one is a little bit more deeper it's unisex definitely um, more woodier this one is stunning it's an old one so you've got very feminine unisex to a little bit more masculine this one's gorgeous as well really really like these three okay guys I've just spotted a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance also by Latafa this is absolutely stunning it's called opulent musk it's very feminine sweet woody oh my god it's gorgeous the bottle kind of reminds me of another fragrant niche fragrance house and I'll put it on the screen it's just it drew me in as soon as I saw it I thought it was them but it's not this is a very sweet woody musky floral gorgeous 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 scent now this one caught my attention because of the bottle I just tried it on and it's actually a very dark mysterious uh, leathery old scent deep dark and rich Arabian style this one is really really good guys it's called what is this called let me check who it's even by so that's the name I'll write the name on the screen because I can't really read it from here um, but this is a really really good fragrance like it's a good quality well made very nicely blended very strong leather and I would scent very masculine as well so we've just discovered that the company that made this one is called Banafa Faroud and they've also made these ones so I've not heard of this company before but it seems like they do make really good fragrances and this store has them so you can come and check them out here so we've just spotted another one here my husband spotted it and he tried it on and he's absolutely in love with it it's called Sheikh Al Oud uh, who's this by? The price is there, it's $50, but I'm not sure who it's by. I will put it on the screen when I do find out. Um, so the scent is, it's a classic smelling old wood, uh, very masculine type of a scent. It's deep, dark, rich, um, very, very good stuff. It's by Ald Arz Al Zafaran. So yeah, it's your very classic um, Arabian, very woody, old type of a scent. It's dry and it's not sweet at all. It's a really good one. So I have just tried these two because they are very popular and I know people are going to ask me about them. Very good line. Excellent, excellent line. This is a patchouli wood which is absolutely stunning. Um, the patchouli here is a very... Um, a modern smelling patchouli and it's a very woody scent it's very classy it's not your hippie type of patchouli so it's not chocolatey or anything like that it's very modern and this one is rose and old but the rose is so delicate in this fragrance it's more of a woody old type of a scent very um, uh, expensive smelling and they are excellent quality uh, fragrances but the entire line is really nice they've got a white line as well but it's not here um, which is really good but these two are awesome now I also wanted to try these three because um, I have been seeing them quite a lot lately and because of the price um, so I'm going to be trying those three now these are called coffee and there's like number one number two sport edition and stuff like that I just tried them this is a very like a freshy kind of a scent um, this one is my favorite definitely it's such a warm ambery just stunning spicy gorgeous fragrance uh, this one 
Yeah, this one is a, a patchouli fragrance. I smell a lot of patchouli. Again, it's a modern type of a patchouli scent. Um, so it's, this one's ambery, patchouli-ish, and this one's like a more of a fresher kind of a scent. Uh, these two are really, really awesome. I've just been told that they are extremely long-lasting. If you spray them on, they will not come off. So hence probably the price tag. But um, yeah, these, these two in particular are gorgeous. And so this is their uh, Bahur range for the home. If you are looking to buy something um, to make your house smell nice and you want something, you know, in the style of like Arabian kind of a sense, Middle Eastern style, come to this store. They have a huge range of things and they are very helpful. They, if you ask them how to use them, they will let you know. Um, so they've got everything you need So yeah, so I think we've tried more than enough today guys. I'll just give you a quick last look of the store, it's very noisy outside. So it's a fantastic store to come in and just try whatever you like. Um, they're not pushy, they, they're, they're just awesome people, they will leave you alone if you want to come and try things and they are very helpful as well. So I highly recommend this store. I will have all the uh, link and details down below for you guys to check out if you are in Melbourne. So guys, we are back in our car. We are heading home now. Uh, we had a great, great, awesome time uh, trying out so many fragrances. Um, I'll just show you what we ended up buying. So that's the address right there. That's the name of the shop. Um, you can find them online as well. So we ended up buying a bottle of fragrance each and my husband bought this one, Sheikh Al Oud. This is the one he liked most. I don't know if you remember, but it was the very woody, woody fragrance. Um, and I got my favorite one, which was Sheikh Al Shuyukh, the Luxe Edition. The one I showed you and I was like, oh my gosh. I love this one so much by Latafa. So that's what we bought. And now we're just heading back home. So we are now back home with these two new gorgeous fragrances. I really hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, do let me know what your thoughts are on the fragrances that we uh, tried. Have you tried them? Do you want to try them? Let me know which bottles you liked. Until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Thank you so much for watching and have a great, great rest of the day. Bye.